Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo, and today we're going to talk about email signatures and spam filters and what you can do to reduce the likelihood of your email message being caught up in your recipient's spam filter. Just a brief overview of spam filters. Spam filters are basically pieces of software that are installed either on your workstation or on your mail server that scan incoming mail messages and try and determine whether they are spam or not. And now let's talk about some of the common reasons that your email will end up in your recipient's spam filter. First one is the email body content. So if you type up your email and you see and you use a lot of words like Viagra or casino or money or drugs or cash or lottery, your email is most likely going to end up in your recipient's spam filter because those words are used quite commonly in uh, spam emails. Same thing goes with subject lines. Uh, if you include those words in the subject line, same thing is going to happen. Outbound links. So if you've got links in your email message to, you know, dodgy websites or some domains that are just generally not trusted and look shady, that's another reason. If you use excessive capital letters, so if you've typed up your whole email, it's all in capital letters. That's another reason um, that your email might end up in your recipient's spam filter. If you've got dodgy HTML code in there, so if you've got uh, malicious code that tries to um, manipulate a browser or, or the email client, that's another common reason. If you're sending from a blacklisted mail server, there's a great website called mxtoolbox.com where you can actually check if your mail server has been blacklisted. Now blacklists are basically databases of mail servers that have been caught sending out a lot of spam and a lot of the world's mail servers use these blacklists in order to try and figure out uh, whether your email is spam. So if your email is sent from one of those blacklisted mail servers, it's very, very, very likely to end up in your recipient's spam filter. Uh, images, so make sure your images are hosted on a reputable server. Basically, don't host it on a, on a blacklisted domain. Um, attachments, attachments is another reason. Obviously, if your attachment's got a virus, it's going to get picked up and it will get blocked. That's a no-brainer. Font colors and sizes, if you've got varying different font sizes and colors throughout your email signature or throughout your whole email, that's very likely to get picked up. With email signatures, you generally want to stick to about two to three different uh, font sizes and about the same with font colors as well, two to three different font colors. There's generally no reason to have more than that. Um, okay, so the next thing is if you've got too many special characters in your email or in your email signature, characters like exclamation marks, at symbols, hashes, dollar symbols, percentage symbols, if you've got too many of those, again, that's a pretty good indicator of a spam email, so your email will likely get picked up. So a few ways you can uh, reduce the chances of your email signature being the cause of your email uh, ending up in a spam filter is don't include spammy words in your email signature. Spammy words are the ones that I mentioned before, drugs, money, Viagra. All those sort of words, if, you've, if you are, for example, a Viagra salesman and that in your email signature, then I feel very sorry for you. Your email is likely going to end up in your spam filter because of your email signature. Um, again, make sure your images are on a reputable server. Um, and also, like I mentioned earlier, fonts and colors are quite an important one. Make sure your email signature has only got two to three different fonts and colors. And last but not least, I did mention earlier about uh, malicious HTML code. When you code an email signature manually, you could put in malicious code in there without even realizing it. Using your email signature generator, uh, you can make you can basically ensure that the code is clean. Uh, with our email signature generator, we only use standard HTML code, and you know you know it's never going to get. Uh, flagged by a spam filter because of that. We check over all of our templates whenever we upload them. We ensure that they don't get 
picked up by spam filters because we do like crazy amount of testing on them all the time. So if you are finding that your email signature is the cause of your uh, email ending up in your recipient's spam filter, give our email signature generator a try. You'll be surprised. Most likely your, e your emails will no longer go into your recipient's spam filter once you create a signature uh, using Gimeo. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.